Welcome to the SOS Sound Design Online course. Learn how to make your own sounds on any synth, create unique sounds using samplers and effects, and create sound design for film, TV, and video games. Based on the acclaimed sound design course at School of Synthesis, there's over 300 minutes of content, 27 lessons, the award-winning Carbon Electra software synth, and assessments and exercises for each module. Enroll now. Hi, I'm David Carboni and welcome to the SOS Sound Design Online course. The Sound Design course is primarily an online version of the in-class course that we've run at Melbourne's School of Synthesis over the past 10 to 15 years. It's a popular course and it's really about being able to create the sound that's in your head using synthesis, being able to use a sampler to further extend that sound, create unique sounds and what it's like working in the sound design industry and what types of skills are required and what types of software we use. The course is broken down into four modules. The first one being what's the basics of a synth, what's an oscillator, what's a filter. The second one is more about modulation, different types of synthesis. The third module is really about sampling and how we use a powerful tool like a sampler to create any sound or manipulate any sound and make it utterly unique. And what's really nice about this uh, sound design in the real world module four is we've tried to give you an insight into what are the types of things that we do and how do we do them a kind of high level a level overview of you know what's it like to create sound design for video games what's required what's it like to create sound for films how do we do that so hopefully overall you get a really good overview of what the sound design industry is the types of tools that we use and first and foremost you get an understanding of how to use those tools. We also include a free copy of Carbon Electra, which is an award-winning synth that was created 10 years ago. It's designed to be easy to use and mimics what you kind of find here in an analog synth. And it's free as part of the course, which is great. And also I'd like to credit all the tutors myself, Stephen Hugh, Tristan Malik, James Hewson, all who I've worked closely with over the past decade, either at the School of Synthesis as tutors or here at Samplify as sound designers. The term subtractive refers to the presence of a filter within the synthesizer's components. So understanding a filter is key to understanding subtractive synthesis. Now technically any synthesizer that has a filter can be referred to as a subtractive synthesizer. Do I want it to be moving slightly? So I could say, you know what, that's cool. Um, you know, I could go fast. So the LFO is just slowly moving that down. But what's interesting is that the width control doesn't only affect the pulse wave. If we set our blend knob completely counterclockwise to produce a triangle wave, now the width control turns our triangle wave into a sawtooth wave. And now we have a much more obvious powering up sound. Okay, so what we can then do next is actually open up um, the Unreal Engine um, and play the game. Um, we can connect remotely, which I've already done with WISE, to the game so that while we're playing, we can actually see these real-time parameters change as we're playing. <laughs> Here, now with that bass running slow, this sound is going to last forever. Here we go. 